Hello, my dear friends. Uh, good morning. Um, wet streets on a rainy day in Belgrade. Driving the streets of uh, historical Vračar municipality. I mean, I don't know why, why I kept keep calling it a historical Vračar, but I mean, ah, it sounds nice, at least nicer. In front of us, the name Kafana, I mean the Cyrillic script, probably many of you cannot read properly. It's called Kafana, which is a practically a Serbian type of a restaurant, like a Greek Taverna or something like that. Stara Kucha, meaning the old house. And uh, yeah, it practically try the way I see it. It tries to simulate um, this old uh, style rest, I mean, typical Belgrade restaurants. Especially in this area, this, that's why actually it is called historical, because this area was populated even in the old um, age of development of Belgrade. Um, we are approaching the famous Chuburski Park. I mean, it's not so famous as a park, but this part of the town, practically part of the municipality, it's called Chubura. It's, a, as you can see, hilly area, but this area is actually most known for its uh, green market called uh, Kalenicheva Piazza or Kalenicha Market, or just Kalenich Market. Um, which is going to appear soon on our left side. So from that traffic light that you can see on, to the left is the Kalanich Market. And there are some really nice quiet streets left and right from this street. This one is maybe not... Okay, it's also nice. But not in this section so nice, uh, there is uh, another section um, after these trees that you can see in front of us. Uh, that se section of the street is very nice. Krunska. And here is the practically main entrance to the, to the market. We'll be going here... Um, right which is not um, the cl most clever thing to do because this is the street where also buses are driving through i mean the street to the left called sinjelicheva uh, to the right sorry uh, but and pro it's usually very very problematic as far as the trans i mean it's congested essentially um, but uh, I want to see something in that street, so that's why I decided to go. Ah, you can see the bus in front of us, and as usually there are cars parked um, both uh, left and right. As some of them just kind of just stopped to to take out the to deliver the goods or something, but some of them are. I see there is a park. There are parking lots both left and right so the, that's why it's a bit uh, problematic for the especially for the bus to pass through the street and sometimes it really I mean there is a hmm, how to say a traffic jam because of the fact that the bus cannot pass etc be off from the parked cars etc etc uh, this is something that I wanted to see okay I saw it it's not ready yet and now we are about to enter Boulevard Kralja Alexandra in front of us is the business school uh, called Visha Poslovna Škola and we are now in the boulevard. The, the building here, uh, the grey one, right from us now, is the famous uh, Lola uh, student um, 
still. And the famous uh, monument of, uh, the, I mean, the park of Vuk Karadzic, together with the monument of Vuk Karadzic, to the right. Now, yeah, I don't think you can see the monument from here. And this street now leads uh, to the very city center, uh, all the way to the parliament building, I mean, this boulevard. Parliament and then uh, further on to the very heart. Ah, you can see now to the right is the Vuk, the monu monument of Vuk Karadzic, and the relatively nice building uh, to the right is the Faculty of Mechanical Engineering. Actually, all the technical faculties are co located at this uh, within this block of buildings here that we are now approaching. There are a faculty of uh, electrical engineering, the architecture, and the mechanical engineering faculty. As well, uh, there is also, I mean, within this block is also the university library. And a bit more further down is the faculty of technology and metallurgy. So in essence, yeah, we can say that practically most of the technical faculties are co-located here, which is um, a rare case in as far as the Belgrade University is concerned, um, because all other faculties are scatter scattered practically all around the city. I mean, really, from uh, from Zemun, uh, uh, the far west let's say point of town where is the faculty of agriculture uh, then to the very south practically where is the i mean kumodraj where is the faculty of pharmacy pharmaceutical faculty um, the faculty of economy is uh, next to the ex uh, railway and bus station so it's yeah really all around I mean the okay the faculty of law is here the building in front of us that one is also pretty much central uh, also relatively close by is the faculty of geology I mean relatively and let me see uh, okay then Vozdovac is known for the Faculty of Political Sciences and the Faculty of Organizational Sciences, so called FPN and FON. And um, what else? What else? Um, and then the very heart of the city, I mean, Dorchol, close to the pedestrian, main pedestrian street, are the faculties of um, Mathematics and Natural Sciences as well as the philology and similar and then the what is maybe most interesting the faculty of fine arts is scattered i believe uh, in three or even four buildings uh, one is located here close to kalemegdan park i mean here not here but close to kalemegdan park the other one is uh, close to I mean, both of the other buildings are close to Topčiderska Zvezda at uh, practically Senjak. Um, and then let me see which other faculty I can remember. Oh, yeah, okay, the faculty of uh, transportation is also at Vozdovac in the main street, I mean the main street of Vozdovac, which is uh, Vojvode Stepe. Okay, and there, and there are a few faculties in New Belgrade. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm, I, I apologize if I've forgotten some of the... Ah, okay, the medical uh, faculty of medical sciences is uh, close to the clinical center which is also logical and yeah now we are approaching uh, the I would maybe even say the second 
most important. I mean, we are now practically passing next to Tashmaidan Park, and one of the most uh, famous uh, gymnasiums uh, is the building on our left. It used to be Realka, I mean, in the past, but this is now, I mean, requires quite some explanation. And the new building of uh, Palilus Piazza, the Palilul Green Market, this is now the most modern uh, green market in Belgrade. I mean, located practically within this building. Uh, yeah, the reconstruction really lasted for quite some period. But okay, at, at the end, eventually it was finished. And I have to say, I mean, okay, of course, it's an enormous amount of money invested in it. But it is nicer compared to what it was, to be absolutely honest. And I did, uh, okay, and we will be now entering the Svetogorska street. Okay, I would say that much for now. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon again.